Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's welcome back to the channel. We're off to the world circuits. You know what we're doing. We've been doing them for the last few days. And if you're watching this in a year's time, because you want to know what grinding is all about, we're doing a series on grinding at the uh, Tokyo Expressway 600. We have been using road cars generally. Um, some historic four-wheel drive cars. But at the end of the last video, I asked, well... I got a comment where somebody suggested brilliant car to choose. I said, well, what should I choose next? And they said, well, what about the car that Gallo's driving? And I thought about it, and he's driving the NSX 2017. So ultimately, I thought we would run the other NSXs, the NSX 92, the O2, and then the 2017, and work way up and see which is fastest and see which does best. So as you can see, NSX Type R 92. Settings as follows. We're on sports hards. Very close to the 600. Could fettle that and make it right. But fully customizable suspension. As you know, that's standard. I don't do anything with that. Diff is fully customizable. Standard. Downforce. Now, let's just talk about this. Wheels have gone wide. Standard. But front lip, side skirts, rear valance is a B. And the rear wing is the high level. But it's not a high level as such. It's the modified high level for that one. For this particular car you'll find out when you go in there it's just the it's the high level for this car it's not the big wing as we normally do so those downforces and adjusted and that's what i've tuned the car with so ecu is set to 100 power restrictors at 100 transmission manual not the racing at 320 high rpm turbocharger there's no anti-lag available but we've got the racing intercooler racing air cleaner racing silencer racing manifold We've got the racing slotted discs, the racing brake pads, brake controller with all the way to the front five. And that's to counteract tyre wear and give us some more braking. Racing flywheel, and then we've got the polished ports installed, high compression pistons, pistons. Installed is the stage one weight reduction, and then the body rigidity is also installed. And that's where we're at. It, it's pumping somewhat 486 brake horsepower. Now... Let's just have a quick discussion about this. If you want to have a Fettel and you want to make this car a little bit different, try doing the engine balance tuning as opposed to the weight reduction and the body rigidity. You'll notice the high compression pistons don't add actually anything to the PP. They're extra. You'll find you could probably run a couple of the other engine mods and you could probably run about 520 brake horsepower. So if you really wanted to have a mess with it, it's... I've used, I've installed a couple of engines, so it's cost me 500k to get this far. But you could also do that, and the PP would be about the same. You'll be running about 40 more brake horsepower, but you will be 130 odd kilos heavier. So it's up to you which way you want to go. You can play with it, you can mess with it. Let's get into the race. So settings, assists. I'll be entirely honest. Manual gears, traction control one, default ABS. And I've got counter steer on strong. This one's a little fighter, folks. I feel I need the counter steer to get me through the race. I don't want to be, I've been facing the wrong way far too many times. The controller settings, as always, but open button configuration. Force feedback max torque five. Force feedback sensitivity six. Let's get into the race and let's let's talk about it. Fuel map on one, brake balance five, all the way to the front, that's where we want it. And I know if you don't watch the video, because I get the comments saying your brake balance is wrong, well it's not, you want it all the way to the front. We're going to one stop this, you can see we've got plenty of fuel to do the one stop. So end of lap six is where we're going to go, we're going to go halfway, we're going to brake just before the puddles on the left. Down to second gear. Now this is a Honda, boys. She likes to rev. Don't forget, clean race bonus. No contact with any cars in lap one. If we can do that, we're good to go. She gets into this corner with a little bit of a throttle lift. This next corner she don't like too much. You just gotta tap the brakes, get her in. Down to third gear for the tunnel. She doesn't like to steer on the brakes so much. 
which you'll find out later in the race. This one, just tap the brakes, let the car follow it through. Watch out for them braking. Keep it in fourth, you're good. Third gear for this one. There she goes. She likes to slide wide. She's horrible for that. And Mr. Blazan put himself in trouble there, and we probably lost the clean race bonus just there. But let's keep going. We've got Mr. Boubois to change down. Look at her. She likes to slide wide. Look. Ah! Back down to eighth. Going to break just before the 150. I'd like to break about 175, to be honest. Just keep the front wheels inside the red and white, so we're good. She's a Honda. Give her everything. So what we like to do in this race is compare it to a couple of benchmarks. If she can do a sub 27 race, she's quick. If she can do a 210 lap, she's quick. If she can do a 208, she's damn quick. So they're the things we'd like to try and measure. At the moment, first lap of 228, it's not the fastest I've ever seen, but we've had to be a little bit gentle. So we're gonna see if we can get 200 down the straight. A 200 down the straight is a fast car, and we're gonna get that, there she is. Gonna break just before those puddles. We're up into fifth place. Counter steer working hard. As you can see, my ABS problem seems to be resolved for now. Fastest lap of the race over Mr. Gallo, but we're going to try and sort that out. Try and make it ours. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you, I've got a roll cage in, full racing roll cage, it reduced the BP. I did forget to tell you that. Third gear as we slide past Mr. Hazal. Is he going to make a comeback at us? Don't know. Almost seven seconds ahead of the previous PB. She's sliding on me. Get her up the rev range. Now I have done a run of the race through before and I know what she's capable of. So I've just got to try and match that. Gave me a little bit of understanding of how to drive this thing because it's tricky without the counter steer for me. You might be able to run it without and you'll be quicker. So this is going to be somewhere in the region of a 2.14 our first lap it might be a 2.13 but we'll see we'll see what Mr Gallo does he does a 2.14.4 I'd like to see a 2.13 there there it is a 2.13.6 that's pretty good at this early part of the race with fuel weight really quite heavy and not a massive amount of wear in the tyres so 200 mile an hour approaching, we'll get past Mr. Fraga, see how we can approach Mr. Suswillow. Get back on the gas as early as you can, chase him down. The car doesn't have a massive amount of low down torque. But it does all right at the higher rev range. It's a Honda, as we know. We could get the boosted boys to engine swap this for a K series. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Get more high revving brake horsepower. Get it around the thousand brake horsepower mark would be stunning, but I don't think that's going to happen. Kept it in fourth gear. Nicely slid through there. Mr. Gallo is not that far ahead. Just had to check up there, Mr. Suswillow just holding us up a fraction. 
we were two seconds up on the fastest time that would make that 2.11 that would be pretty ace I think we might have scrubbed a bit of speed there though I'd like to short shift out there 2.75 seconds up so that could drop this into a 210 if we really, really, really felt about it. If this makes it a 210 already in the early part of this lap, there it is, a 2109. Well, that's pretty good. Let's get the slipstream. There it is. See if we can get to 200 early. Only four seconds behind Mr. Gallo. We're going to give you a rundown of the places fairly soon. We'll see who's up there. So we're 3.7, 3.9 seconds behind Mr. Gallo. Get some low gown grunt going. Come on. So we're in second place. One second ahead of Mr. Suswillow. Cookabun in fourth. Watch out for this corner. Fraga in fifth, Zal six, Boubois seven, and Blazen eighth. The quarter per second up. Let's see if we can keep it going. Probably lost all that time there. Changed down to third to try and control the car, and it didn't work. Mr. Gallo, we're now going to hunt you down, my friend. Try and keep the, the speed up. Keep the car flowing. Whoa, almost half a second there. I was a bit hesitant through there. Could have come out there faster. We probably turned in just a wee bit too early. will be racing very soon six tenths up that'll be a two ten three I don't know if Gallo's going to the pitch yet it's a Honda rev it out give it its head go on a two ten two it's getting quicker Rear tyres are just starting to show where we are going to be changing them at the pit stop. 200. How are we going to get into this corner with him? He's got a break, better set of brakes than we have. We know he's capable of running 209s in that car around this track. It looks like this is going to be capable of 209. Had to throttle off there. And that reflects in the time at the first, well, second split. We've just squeezed past him. We just dived in there at the last moment. Probably a bit of a dive bomb. Do we care? Oh, we're going to hit that hard. Ow. That wasn't fun. There we go. Three quarters of a second and more down. Can't make that up here. We've got front left damage and we've got splitter damage. But we're in the lead by a second. On lap five, we're going to go into lap six and we're going to pit at the end of it. Second gear, let's see how we get out this corner. We pulled out a second on him. Up to almost two seconds ahead. We're going to stay over to the right because we know he's going to want a pit stop. We're not going to give him any draft from us. 
We're going to pit at the end of the next lap. Two point seven seconds in the lead. Gallo second in the pits. Suswillo in third. Cookabun fourth. Gallo fifth. Up to fourth. Mr. Fraga in sixth. Mr. Grady in seventh. And Mr. Blazan in eighth. I just lifted off the brake there. Kept the same braking marker. Tyres are starting to scrub. The fronts are in good condition. They're not a problem. It's the rears. They won't last a full stint, I don't think. Look at that, three consecutive laps in the 210. This is a quick car. And if the car gets better with with its newer age, then these are going to be quick cars. One and a half tenths down at this point. But nothing we can do about it on this. This is the end lap, so we're not going to set a fastest lap here. We've got the next six laps to do that. So 15 seconds in the lead. Mr. Gallo isn't back on the leaderboard yet. This will almost be another 210. This will be a 210 3. 16 seconds in the lead as we're going to the pits. We're going to change tyres and we're going to fuel to 6.2. This willow's about to go flying past. There he is. His owl's gone as well. Cookabun's come into the pits. There's his owl. Fraga is coming like an absolute steam train. We're going to stay over to the left. See if we can get a drag off him. We're going to break at the bottom of the hill this time because we aren't carrying as much speed power it on through now I'm really hoping but to see some 209s from this little monster Mr. Fraga just holding us up just a fraction now I'd have lost it there if I wasn't using the counter steer Mr. Hazal next on the list We don't get a lap time at this one because we're on the out lap. So there's no records being set this lap. It'll be on the next one. Mr. Hazal driving the 22B, a formidable car. I haven't raced that round here yet either. That's got to be done. Braked on the 175. Go try and give him a little bit of room, but then we'll just slide through the inside. Gave him a little bit of tap on the bottom, but give us our head. So, Mr. Suswillow, some six seconds ahead. We're closing on, but we expect him to go to the pits this time round. And there he goes. So, we're going to start to turn our thoughts to whether this is going to be a 26 second car it would be nice 
Let's see if we can put some 209s in. Everybody's gone to the pits except Gallow, and we're now 10.6 seconds ahead. We're going to break just before the double puddle. There we go. Now he's got his second stop to make. He always makes two stops. We want this to be in the two tens with this heavy fuel load. It's not heavy though, is it? It's only six laps of fuel. Slight touch on the way in there. Still 11.4 seconds ahead. Just breaking before that corner. Just to make sure we can make it out. Keep it smooth. Just outside the current fastest lap of the race. Which is with us. A 2.10.268. So this will be a 2.10.5. If we do everything right on the way back to the, pit, the pits, the start finish line, we're 13 seconds ahead of Gallo. We're expecting him to put in some absolute stunning laps fairly soon to give us something to beat. Let's see if this next lap can be flawless. We're just two and a half tenths out. Of our fastest lap, so it'll be a 2105. It'll be our second fastest lap of the race. So, Widowmaker leads over Gallo in second, Cookabum third, Yamanaka in fourth, that was a 2104. Sister Sus Willow in fifth, Fraga in sixth, Hizal in seventh, and Solace in eighth. Things are about to change in that leaderboard with another round of pitting about to happen. We're going to break just after the two flashes of water on the left. There they are. Taking a wide entry in. Lift off and get back on the throttle. I didn't see what the time interval said. I'm guessing it wasn't purple. We've got to make that time up here. Got a bit of wind blowing in the room. Just slammed a door. I apologise if you heard that. Oh, some right slidey drift on there. That was slow through there, I would have thought. We get the next indicator of where we are against time around this corner here. We're half a second down, so we've been a bit casual. Trying to give her everything now. It's possible to make up half a second on this part of the circuit. Unless you really banzai it. We have almost made up half a second. <laughs> My word. Just 90 thousands down on our previous fastest lap of the race. See if we can just shave the corner a little bit and see where that puts us. 210276 just outside, so 008 outside our previous fastest lap. So let's see if we can string one together. Just the three laps to go 10, 11, and 12. We're 17 seconds ahead of Mr. Gallo as he goes to the pits. Really slow to get down to second gear. I was trying to hold the speed off. Kind of looking like we're going to be, well, we're 22 seconds ahead at this point. And I'm really starting to wonder whether we're going to get into the 209s. We need this car to start to show itself. 
and we need the driver to uh, just stay true and honest. That was a two. Uh, that was purple, wasn't it? It was two and a half tenths almost, and we were slow through there. The car didn't want to get in. The front tyres might be just giving up on us, even though they're just showing a little bit of wear. Let's see where we get to around this corner. See if see if we've managed to keep it purple. Just a tenth down. Well. Keep it in third. See if we can find any time round here. We're closer than we were last time. Try and break closer to the 250. Sorry, to the 150. Oh, we're sliding through. Oh, look at that. We're up by a quarter of a second. That should put us into the 209s. 26 seconds in the lead. We're leading Kukabun by Yamanaka in third, Gallo in fourth, Suswilo in five, and there's the first 209. We made up a stunning half a second. Fraga in sixth, Blazan in seventh, and Grady in eighth. Now we've got two laps to really demonstrate what this car can do. Can we get lower than a 2097? Can we get into the 26s? Feels like it's going deep. I didn't see the time barrier banner again. I was too busy concentrating on braking and pooping myself, to be honest. This is going to be an exceptionally quick race. Mr. Yamanaka goes to the pits. We knew it was going to just topsy-turvy change a little bit. We knew the leaderboard would get shaken up just a little bit by, by some pit stops. So, Mr. Cookerbun is just holding Mr. Gallo honest. Got the back end sliding through there. I don't know if that's fast or slow. Well, we're three quarters of a, three and a half tenths, three and three quarter tenths up. Back on the power, let's get it round and out. We're going good there. See if we can get mid 209s. A 2094 would be tremendous. Clean up this final corner a bit. This last sector will tell us. Oh, it could be a 208. A 208 is an absolutely rocket ship for a road race car. This will compete with a GTO. Just a 209, so one more lap to go. We've got plenty of fuel. We're leading get Cookabun over Gallo. Gallo won't like that. Suswillo in fourth. Fraga in fifth. Blas in sixth. Grady in seventh. Yamanaka in eighth. And I've just realised just how close that time is to being a 208. For those of you that know anything about this race, you can you can race quicker times than that. We know you can, but not in a road car of this calibre. I think I was too slow through there. I don't think we'll see this last lap improve. See if I can keep the power down as much as possible. Fighting me now with three, three and a half tenths off. I could possibly make that up if I get things right. But she's fighting me, and I couldn't do it without that counter steer assistance. I'm having to feather the wheel. Just having to really fight her now, just to get her anywhere near where she needs to be. We're losing time, but this down to the rear tyre is losing grip now, I think.
we've slid her just a little bit too much one would suggest but it's still going to be healthy are we going to get inside the 27 that's the next thing we've put enough fast laps in to do that I'm sure it would be a real shame if she didn't make a 26 1.78 seconds. We've got 20 seconds to get to the line. Ten seconds to get there. Come on, you little fighter. It's there in front of you. A 26 is there. There she is. As we finish with a 211 something. Oh, what a great little car that turned out to be. And totally unplanned as well. Totally unplanned. So a 26.55, that's pretty decent. Some 36 seconds ahead of Cookerbum, 51 seconds ahead of Gallo. We absolutely broke him on that occasion. We had the fastest lap of 2.09.084 on lap 11. So she went quick all the way to the end. No clean race bonus. We blew that in the first lap. We knew that by sliding it into the wall. You have to keep that first lap clean, I'm told. But that puts another 550k into the bank for us. So we're almost on the 17 million, which is healthy. And there she is. And with that, folks, there's another one you can add to your arsenal. Have a lovely rest of the weekend. All the best. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, folks. Thank you very much. Bye now.